Hi, I'm Tasha from Jumanji Pets. I'm the Livestock Manager here, and I'm here today to tell you about pet birds. So, how to care for your badriga? First things first, their home. Their cage should be big enough to spread their wings and to have a little fly. Ideally, you want the bird to be outside the cage most of the time and to use the cage only for feeding, um, going to the toilet and obviously for sleeping in at night and obviously when you're out at the house um, when the bird is not being supervised. In the cage, there should be perches, different legs, different sizes, um, obviously for different um, fills for the budgie. Um, there should be a food bowl and there should be plenty of food all the time. The um, budgies often have small, eat small and often um, and you will find they will munch through that food so make sure there's plenty of food in there. Plenty of fresh water every single day you should change that water and make sure you're cleaning out those bowls. Make sure there's also grit inside the cage, there be a fresh bowl of grit um, every day to every other day inside your cage. It's really good, um, it helps to aid digestion. Um, so especially sometimes um, movement um, and stress, new environment, new people, new temperatures, um, it can cause diarrhoea. So you want to make sure you have some grit in there, um, it does help the digestive system. Cuttlefish should also be available for the bird. Cuttlefish is a fish bone. It provides plenty of calcium and minerals for the bird. Not only that, budgie's beaks continuously grow. It also helps to keep them nice and trim to stop from overgrowing. Um, you also can have a mineral block, which is something like this. It gives extra vitamins um, and minerals in there. Um, and obviously, not just gives them vitamins, it also helps to trim the beak down as well. Obviously, for their food, you want to make sure they've got a balanced diet. We advise the beef for extra vital food. It contains 26 different seeds, fruits, nuts and egg in there. Um, and we find it's the best diet for them. There's no changeover period, so whatever your breeder, rescue home or pet store was feeding them before, you can put them straight on this food um, and you will find they won't have any upset tummies because it is a complete diet. Ideally, budgies in the wild, they live in a flock of birds. Therefore, kept as pets, you really want to keep them in a pair or more. Um, we find budgies can get depressed quite easily. Um, therefore, kept as on their own, they can get depressed. Therefore, make sure there's plenty of mirrors and bird toys, obviously, to keep them, um, prevent them from boredom. If you can't afford um, budgie toys, you can make things out of wood and plastic. Obviously, make sure then they're not poisonous and obviously safe for the birds. You can move them around the cage, um, that also prevents boredom and obviously gets them to move them around the cage a bit more. Now, on the bottom of the cage, you want sand sheets. This soaks up all the urine and faeces, um, but should be changed daily to every other day. Now, birds love to bathe. Um, whether it's if you go to a garden centre and get them like a mister and spray them every day to every other day or even get them something like a bird bath which you can clip onto the cage um, you will find you'll see them splashing around there they love it and it really will make them happy um, it obviously prevents dust holding into their feathers and obviously keeps them nice and clean now every three months you should ideally be given them mite spray. This is, this is red tiny mites, um, they're like a type of pesticide. It can irritate your bird badly. Um, it will feed off their blood. It will make them have, um, it will make them lose their feathers um, and it can really stress your birds out. Um, and the worst case scenario, it can actually kill the bird. So it's really important every three months you are using a mite spray. Um, especially in the summer, that's when they're most common to be around your bird. Um, they do breathe really quickly, um, so you want to make sure you're doing it. It's very easy to get rid of them. All it is, every three months, spray your bird, it prevents them for three months and it also kills them. Make sure when cleaning the cage that you are using a natural product. Make sure you go for um, a bird disinfectant, this will kill all the right bacteria. Not only that, God forbid, if you leave, say, some spray in the cage, it won't, if they were to lick it, it wouldn't actually harm their insides. So, that's how you care for a Bajuri girl.
Good luck with your feathered friends. For more information, give us a call or pop in store.